Jadev is back out of here to give everyone on their Game of Thrones Season 1 episode reaction video. But before I continue with that, it's pretty important if you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching Game of Thrones, or you simply just don't know, it's my suggestion that you take the initiative and pay attention to the episode title, which of course, it'll be in the description, like always is. And if that's the case and you find out you're not caught up, I suggest that you don't watch this video any further to avoid any potential spoilers. This will be Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode Number 6. The title of this episode is called The Golden Crown. Gonna be my reaction review recap of the episode. Bran awakens from a reoccurring dream of a three-eyed raven. Foreshadowing everybody and tests his new saddle in the forest. He's actually attacked by some wildlings, but shortly, or actually quickly, rescued by Rob and Theon, who kill all the wildlings, but take one of them hostage, so they kill all but one, and that would be Osha. They take her captive, and she becomes pretty important later on. Tyrion convinces Liza Aaron to convey a court where he mockingly confesses to various misdeeds, but not the attempt on Bran's life or Jon Aaron's murder. Tyrion demands a trial by combat, and the sellsword Braun volunteers to fight for Tyrion. Now, Braun dishonorably defeats Lysa's champion, and Tyrion goes free with Braun as his uh, escort, to much to Lysa and Catelyn's dismay. Although, I don't think Catelyn Stark really cared, because Tyrion saved her uh, in a previous episode. But anyway... Cersei accuses Ned of kidnapping Tyrion, and Robert tells Ned he cannot rule if the Lannisters and the Starks are at war, appointing Ned regent while Robert leaves on a hunting trip. So Ned is acting king because Robert Baratheon has to go hunting and release some stress or whatever the hell he's going to do. Arya continues her sword lessons from Cereal Pharrell, while her sister Sansa accepts an apology and a necklace from Prince Joffrey Baratheon, unaware he has been forced by his mother to do so. In Robert's absence, Ned learns that Sir Gregor Clegane, the mountain, uh, was seen attacking villages in the Riverlands. Realizing this is revenge for Tyrion's arrest, Ned orders Lord Beric Dondarrion who later gets recasted, by the way, to arrest Sir Gregor Clegane, the mountain, and summons his overlord, Tywin Lannister, to answer for Gregor's, uh, Sir Gregor's actions. Now, fearing war with the Lannisters, Ned orders Arya and Sansa return to Winterfell for their safety. Both of them, or neither of them, want to go, of course. Sansa declares her desire to have golden-haired babies with Joffrey, which leads Ned to revisit... Uh, John Aaron's research, and um, all the Baratheons have black hair until Joffrey does not share the same dark hair of Robert and all of his ancestors and bastards. Ned realizes that Joffrey is not truly Robert's son, or comes to that conclusion. Daenerys is left unscathed after taking one of her dragon eggs from the fire. She undergoes a ritual with the uh, Dosh Kaleen eating a stallion's raw heart and proclaiming her unborn son will be the call to the unite the entire world as one Kalistar and names him Rago for Drago and her brother Rhaegar, uh, killed by Robert Baratheon. Now Viserys, angrily at his sister's growing popularity among the Dothraki, tries to steal Daenerys' dragon eggs to find to fund a new army, but is confronted by Jorah, and Jorah makes sure that he doesn't do anything stupid like that. Well, up until this point, a drunken Viserys uh, threatens his sister at sword point, and Khal Drago agrees to, uh, or Khal Drogo, I said Drago like Ivan Drago of Rocky IV, oops, and uh, agrees to give him the golden crown he desires as his blood riders restrain Viserys. Drogo pours molten gold on his head, watching her brother burn to death while he begs for her not to let them kill him. Daenerys coldly remarks, he was no dragon. Fire cannot kill a dragon. Uh, and that is the end of the episode. Uh, pretty entertaining episode. 
Uh, there, the one thing I didn't mention actually, the, when Serial Pharrell and Arya were having their dancing lesson or sword fighting lessons, that's the first time we hear the the line "Not today." What do we say to the whatever the line is? But not to, I don't remember hearing that until now in this particular season. I thought that was something in season three or four or something like that. But I really liked what I saw in this episode. The stuff with uh, Khal Drogo and uh, Daenerys and Viserys was pretty awesome. Tyrion, Braun fighting for him, pretty good. Um, the appearance of Osha, which is uh, or Asha, I keep I keep forgetting what her name is now. Uh, it's one of the two, and uh, all in all, pretty awesome episode. I'm going to give this one a 9.3 out of 10. The character of the episode, I'm going to give this one to Tyrion Lannister. I thought Tyrion was really funny con confessing all those random things, but not confessing to what they think he was going to confess to. So you've heard what I have to say. Now it's your turn. If you're a fan of Game of Thrones and you love this series, even if you didn't like season eight, go ahead and smash that like button. If there's anybody that you know would be interested in this, make sure you share the video with them. Don't forget to leave me a comment about your thoughts. You can score the episode, talk about the episode, or anything Game of Thrones related. I assume that you've already seen the series if you're watching this reaction. And last, but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to the channel, join the team, show your damn support, and JDev will return.